couple of years ago, LEGO released the Crystal King Temple set, and I was incredibly disappointed by it. But I still love the aesthetic, so I tried to see if I could make a new build that I liked more by combining multiple copies of that set. And you guys seem to really like this too, it became one of the most popular videos on my channel. Ever since that video, I've been wanting to do it again with another set, but I was waiting for the right opportunity. And then in June 2023, LEGO released the Temple of the Dragon Energy Cores. Now this set, I have to admit, I love. I think it's a beautiful model, one of the most impressive ones Ninjago has ever put out. I was very complimentary in my review and I highly recommended it to my audience, but it did seem like not everyone felt the same as me. While the comments on my review were mostly positive, I saw one common criticism. Many people were disappointed by the lack of interior space. So I thought, why don't I try to expand upon this build, give it more interior and just more space overall? So that's what I had planned for this video. Now, unlike my Crystal King Temple video, I wasn't turning a set I didn't like into one I did, rather, I was attempting to make a larger version of a set that I already loved. Because of this, I wasn't going to start from scratch this time, rather, I was going to take the base form of the build and expand upon it. And because I do like a bit of a challenge, I wanted to use pieces only from this set, albeit four copies of this set. I'd like to give a big thank you to LEGO and the LEGO Ambassador Network for providing the sets for this video, and now, let me show you what I came up with. Real quick though, before we get to that, I'd like to ask you guys to please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'm getting so close to 100,000 subscribers. As of me writing this video, I'm less than a thousand away, and by the time you guys see it, I might be even closer or may have even reached it. But if you enjoy my content and you want to see more, liking and subscribing does so much to help support me and my channel. So thank you very much for your support, and now let's get back to the video. So here's my custom larger temple of the Dragon Energy Cores, and before we get up close, there's a few things I want to clarify. First, my goal with this was not to make a show accurate. This is the same as my Crystal King Temple video. Because yes, while we do see this in the show, I was not really focused on making it accurate to the show. Rather, I wanted to make something that was just a fun toy, something that looks good on the shelf, but also like you could do stuff with. So that's why I wasn't going for 100% accuracy. And then the other thing is, you can see I made this wider and the interior more fleshed out, but it is still open from the back. It's not like a UCS model where it's covered up on all sides. Now that was my original plan with this set, essentially get four of these and sort of arrange them in a square. But I realized, number one, that would leave a giant gap in the interior, and also I just don't think it would make for as fun of a build. So with all that in mind, let's take a look at it up a little bit closer. So let me talk you through the different parts of this build. So as I think it's plainly obvious to see, I tried to stay very true to the original set, and there were some parts I'll admit are ripped directly from the set. I did follow the instructions a lot when doing this, because my goal wasn't to be 100% original, it was to expand upon this set by using multiple copies. So if I like how they did in the original version, I just built it multiple times. But yeah, of course I kept the original main entrance, though I had to build out the back a little bit more to have more interior. And I will say there was a limited parts for that, and I don't love how some of it looks, especially on the right side a little bit. I tried to make the right side more nature-like with more wood, the other side more stone, and I think that turned out okay. Definitely some colors and pieces I'd swap around if I had like unlimited parts, but with what was available to me, I'm fairly happy with it. The trees on each side are taken directly from the set, literally just mirrored. It was nice, they had no like directional pieces in the instructions, so I could just build them both ways, but I have to say, having it on both sides of the table looks super cool. It feels even more like built into the forest. Now on the second level, I did keep it mostly the same. This like green scroll in the center, I didn't think made sense to have it three times, so I won some sort of graphic here, so I reused like the stone tablets that I used the entrance, which I don't think that's too overdone here. Maybe something else could have looked better, but I don't know, I feel like they framed this really well. I've also still got that very curvy roof, though obviously now it's much longer, and that integrated so perfectly, I'm honestly very happy with that. Now the next level up was something I debated a lot on, because originally I wasn't planning just to have three dragon energy cores side by side by side, I wanted to still have the one in the center, but then do other things on the other two sides. But then I realized, there's three dragon energy cores in the show, and they are like the collectible of this wave. And in previous Ninjago waves, especially the early ones, the big sets of the wave would often have places to put the collectibles, I'm thinking like the Temple of Light from 2013. So I was like, huh, this is actually perfect, it's the perfect size to fit three in a row. And even though there's six collectible Dragon Energy Cores, there's three in the show, and this is the Temple of the Dragon Energy Cores, so maybe I should have all three here. And I think the end result looks alright, I will say the colors make it seem a little bit off because they don't seem like collectibles, they just seem like a part of the build. And this is more accurate to the show because this is the Dragon Energy Core that looks closest to the ones in the show. However, there is other colors and sets, and I didn't use them in the build because of course that would have broken the rules of the challenge, but just to show you, there's how it looks with three different colors up there, and I think that definitely sells it a bit better. Feels a lot more like this is the place to keep the collectibles, so I think I am happy with my overall decision on that. And then on the top level, I was not going to triple the bell, I didn't think that made any sense. Rather, I just want there to be minifigure space to have minifigures in there with the bell, because you couldn't really do that too much on the original set. I do think this is the part of the build that differs the most in the original. I mean, there are like other little bits, but they do follow the instructions a lot, but this I definitely had to play around with, and I'm fairly happy with the end result. I don't love all the open studs up here, I guess I could have made this bigger to make them less obvious, but I felt like that just didn't feel right. 
like this was the right scale to have this. The temple should get smaller at the top. And then actually this is the only one of the three sections that I closed up around the back. The other levels, as you'll see in a moment, are open so you can get in there and pose minifigures. And I want this to be more easily accessible to pose minifigures, so you will notice it's a little more open at the center right here to make it easier to go in and like place minifigures if you want. But I still want it to seem fairly complete around the back. And then at the very top, I top it off the spire just like on the original build, though I actually had a total of three spires. And I still have mech fingers in the corners because I just think those look great. The shape of this I think could be a little bit better if I had a few extra parts, but that's a very easy modification to make if I wanted to. But per the rules of the challenge, I think this works fine. Anyway, coming back down to the front, I kept these little statues from the original build, though definitely moved them over quite a bit. And I tried to have them like built into stone, but also with a little bit of tree on them. And I actually think the texturing there turned out fairly good, I'm pretty happy with that. These little statues at the front are still here too, and I still have this branch from the original build on this side with the lantern hanging off. On the other side though, I did add a couple more branches just to give a little more life to the tree, make it feel a little less flat. And you can see, as I mentioned, there's that combination of wood and stone, and there's that same statue on this side. The doors, of course, can still swing open to get to the interior. And here's a look at what I did inside. So I have Kind Ra's post in here right now, but I'm gonna remove them, and I was really debating what to do with this interior space. I wanted it to be big and open because that was the big critique I was addressing with this build, because yeah, in the original set, that was the interior. You see these four triangle pieces? Those are the base floors of each of the four sets I used, so if you cut it off right there, that's how much interior space the original had. Obviously, I filled it up a little bit, but still, yeah, I kind of get that criticism a little bit. It makes sense to limit that for a retail set, right, because you only have so much budget, and making it smaller makes it cheaper, but this much space feels more like a proper play set. But anyway, yeah, as I said, I was not trying to make the show Accurate. Rather, I was just trying to make it fun, and if you saw my Crystal King Temple video, the storytelling of a set is very important to me. And that one, I sort of created the puzzle for the four golden weapons, but I was really hung up on what to do with this one, because I want the interior to be populated, but I also wanted to have a lot of space for minifigures, so I floated a few different things. There's a well in this set that's sort of off to the side in the original build, and at one point I had that in here in like the center of the room, but I felt like that blocked up the doors too much and made it feel too cramped, so I eventually landed on creating these two stands. And you can see it's basically meant to be an evil side and a good side. This one side has the Imperium armor and Ra's his hammer, and it's on one of those stone dragon templates, and then we've got this tan banner at the back too. And on the other side we have some red ninja armor as well as a katana, but yeah it's still on a similar stand. Though I was trying to give the rocks around the evil stand like a sharper look, while the ones on the ninja stand had a rounder look, just to create more variance between the two. But yeah, I think my idea behind this was of course in the show, Zayn wakes up in Imperium with his new suit on, and we don't know where that came from, it was just a new suit for him that he never really wore before. And Cole also had the new suit when we first meet him, even though he didn't get it from Kai and Lloyd. And this is the symbol on the back of the ninja suits, so my idea was maybe the ninja suits come from this temple in some way. Obviously that's not a thing in the show at all, but I thought it made for fun storytelling in the set, and if we have the ninja on one side and we have the bad guys on the other, to create some conflict in the set. And that was also me trying to justify the two libraries, because at one point I was considering putting something else in the other tree, but the libraries just fit in too well and they looked really nice. So again, with the storytelling in this build, I want the idea to sort of be that the ninja and Roz reach the temple at the same time, and they're each sort of stuck on their own side and they're fighting in the center right here, so that's why you have so much space. But maybe, I don't know, they have to figure out how to work together to get to the upper levels. I don't know, that's just what's running through my head. There is still the greenstone signs above each library, and those are incorporated on both sides. And then you can see how these tan banners from the upper level hanging down too. In the original set, these actually go out to the well, and I did remove the well in this set. I considered doing like an entire side build, but I was like, no, I want this to be one cohesive build. I already have a well in the original set. I would rather remove it and make this set feel more complete than have just something off to the side. But because these are a cool sticker, I still wanted to incorporate them some way, so I just sort of have them hanging down right here between levels, but they're very easy to remove if I wanted to. In the tree section, Moving to the upper level again, this is taken straight from the set. So even though this is mirrored, the play feature does still work. I pull out on this, and those barrels will fall down. I like that play feature though, it helps add to the puzzle and whimsy of everything. And again, having it on the good guy side and the bad guy side, I don't know, adds a little bit to me. But now we come up properly to the second level. And in the original build, this is where the spirit of the temple stood, and he sort of had like a jump scare play feature. You press down the thing on the side and he would jump out. And that was fun, don't get me wrong, I do like that. But when I was considering what to do with this floor, I was like, wait, I do have four of these guys. Obviously, I only use three here. What can I do with that? So again, Again, coming back to my idea of storytelling, I'm like, what story can I tell with these guys? So I was like, what if it's some sort of puzzle? What if all three are side by side by side, and there's some sort of puzzle involving the three of them that the ninja have to solve before getting to the upper level? My initial idea was like, maybe it's one of those classic, like, oh, one always tells truths, one always lies, and the one in the center is the one that tells you that, but it really could be anything. It's vague, and that's on purpose. But the point is, I do think having all three of these here does help tell a story, while also still leaving a lot of room on this floor to pose minifigures inside. Then coming up to the next level, this is, of course, the one with the dragon energy cores, and you already saw this, and in fact, I should swap these back out so I'm not breaking the rules of the challenge. But yeah, the three orbs are still on their original pedestal from the original set, with the same stickers that said the word orb and in jargon. And that's also what the banners say, which you already saw on the lower level. But I was like, you know what, I have extra of these stickers, I should put them on the walls here, just to add some extra detail. And then I also include the golden frying pans here, because I don't know, I thought they looked cool. Add some extra texturing, 
and I considered adding more to the interior in this level, but I was like, nah, I think space is fine. It's good to have it open to pose minifigures, I don't want it to feel too crowded. It gives the proper space for the Dragon Energy Course to feel like the focus of this level. And again, my entire idea was like calling back to Temple of Light from 2013. You collect the collectibles in all the different sets, and then you put them right here. Again, I know, not accurate to the show at all, but it is called the Temple of the Dragon Energy Course. I felt like it only made sense to include the Dragon Energy Course here. And then coming to the tree on the outside, again, taken from the official set, so there's nothing new here. But yeah, there's still the play feature, the bridge can pop off like this, or I guess that platform pops off and the bridge is left. And that is functional on both sides of the build. And there we go, I think that's about everything there is to my custom Temple of the Dragon Energy Cores. I know of all my custom builds in this channel, this is far from the most original, I know a lot is taken from the original set, but that is kind of the point. I love the original set, I didn't want to change too much, I just wanted to expand upon it, and honestly, I'm very happy with it, I think it looks super cool. And I have to say, I do love the interior space, I love having a space to pose the minifigures, and I don't know, I had fun adding like a new story to this set. But now it's up to you guys, tell me what you think of this build in the comments, and also let me know what kind of building challenge do you want to see next. I already have quite a few ideas, but I'm always open to more, so if anything specific you want to say, let me know in the comments, and I may use it for a future video idea. But as for this one, I think that's about all I have to say, so thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!